am, and first of all, thank you for coming out and showing what freedom of assembly and what freedom of speech is all about. Let's hear it for you for being out here today. Second, I'd like to notice that this is a typical Jogger County spring-like day because of global warming. So we'll hold that conversation for another rally. You know, the good news today is that we live in a county that has 93,000 people, and fortunately we've only lost 19 to COVID-19, which means that, one, for all of us, we have a 99.98% chance of not dying from COVID-19. So we should be allowed to get back to our lives and exercise our freedoms. That doesn't mean we shouldn't be sympathetic for those who have passed on or for their loved ones who are mourning their loss. But we should have that sympathy for our county residents who die from car accidents, heart disease, strokes, cancer, and by the way, the seasonal flu, which is taking on average 14 people a year in our county. Now here's the key, that is the key. The key is, since the first caveman stepped out of the cave and got bit by a mosquito, man has had to deal with disease. Our forefathers understood that the price of living is actually death. We're all gonna get there, folks, someday. That's just the price we get for enjoying this life. But our forefathers did know that. And in the Constitution, in the preamble, it doesn't say that they're creating a Constitution to prevent death. It says that the Constitution is to promote the general welfare. And how did they say government should pr pr promote our general welfare? Well, it didn't say government should have the right to close our businesses, throw us, lock us in our homes, close our churches, and make us wear masks. What's up with that? No. What did the Constitution say that our forefathers gave us? It said, no law shall prohibit the free exercise of religion. No law shall abridge the freedom of speech. No law shall abridge the right of the people to peacefully assemble. The right of the people to be secure in their persons and houses. No person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Nor shall private property be taken for public purpose or use without just compensation. And that no law shall be passed by a state that deprives us of life, liberty, and property without due process. That's what the Constitution says our rights are. Ready, set, spring into your Geauga Park District with 25 accessible parks close to home. Download maps of all the awesome trails you can discover and experience breathtaking nature in no time. Begin your adventure at geaugaparkdistrict.org. Road conditions during a snowstorm are extremely important to us because our families travel the roadways as well. We are thankful for your patience through the winter and ask that you slow down, turn on your headlights, and give way to our plows and all other emergency vehicles.